from the foothills to the plains. The 71 miles of Denver's historic High Line Canal is a testament to an earlier generation's vision and hard work. But the canal is outliving its life as an irrigation utility. Today, the role of the canal in the metro area is changing. The delivery of irrigation in that canal has historically been pretty inefficient. We know that we have to do everything we can to protect public health, which means protecting our environment. That means finding another source of water. So the Highline Canal Conservancy is working with Denver Water, with the jurisdictions, and with the community, most importantly, to help determine what the future of the canal will be. That collaboration is reimagining the canal as a smart water system, using an inspiring model of stormwater management. Stormwater is really any precipitation that comes from the sky, and anything that doesn't infiltrate runs off and becomes stormwater. By the very nature of how the Highline Canal was built, it basically cuts across drainage basin. So what that means is the areas that would normally drain into a natural drainage way, a channel, a river, gets intercepted by the Highline Canal. The Highline Canal is uniquely situated to be able to have water be collected from these stormwater events and slowed down and retained for a certain time period before it is then released back to the natural streams. Denver Water and the Urban Drainage and Flood Control District commissioned a study of the canal to look at the opportunities and constraints for using the canal for stormwater management. Communities can use the master plan to assist them in identifying the risks, the costs, and the facilities needed to be able to utilize the canal for stormwater management. The Highland Canal Conservancy's mission is to protect, preserve, and enhance the Highland Canal with the help of a grant from the Pisces Foundation, the Highland Canal Conservancy has been able to bring together all of the stakeholders and really facilitate the conversations that need to happen. The result of all that collaboration and work is STEP, the Stormwater Transformation and Enhancement Program. The purpose of STEP is to open up dialogue regarding stormwater in the canal and to break down barriers and to answer questions and concerns that in particular that the jurisdictions might have. STEP will also allow communities to meet their local stormwater goals or environmental goals and provide a platform for future use of the canal. STEP advances sustainable ways to manage stormwater through green infrastructure along key sections of the canal. Green infrastructure is a way for us to mimic nature in the way nature manages stormwater runoff. This has a host of environmental, economic, and social benefits, which includes not only reducing our flood risk and improving water quality, but also improves air quality, reduces the urban heat island effect, and improves our resiliency to climate change. Urbanization contributes to some pollution of our waterways. And by building green infrastructure, it helps reverse that effect and makes our communities healthier. Two projects are already underway as part of STEP. At Eisenhower Park, the focus is on water quality. The Eisenhower Project is a, a wonderful opportunity for the city and county of Denver to treat and filter stormwater runoff. That project will install three separate water quality berms or weirs within the canal. We also are installing things like inlet filters or vaults that will collect trash and sediment from the streets before they enter the canal. It allows that water to be held longer and promotes greater infiltration, which is better for water quality and also promotes better plant health. At Greenwood Village, the primary goal is improving local stormwater management through use of the canal. In older developments, the stormwater would naturally go into the Highline Canal as opposed to the natural stream. By formalizing the use of the Highline Canal for stormwater, it allows us to make local 
storm system improvements so that that flow gets more efficiently into the Highline Canal and reduces that flooding. In a region that is facing more and more challenges with water availability, STEP offers smart water solutions that can bring new life to our regional legacy. Without water, there likely isn't a future for the Highline Canal. Through repurposing the canal and through STEP, we get 100 more days of water along the canal and increasingly to have a 71 mile green infrastructure corridor is an asset that you have to protect. The story of the canal and its beginnings was like a promise of a better future. Those who used it were able to enhance their lives and enhance their property. This is a new way for us to bring that promise of a new future.